Hey, good morning, Dev. I got here early to make this video for you, but I'm gonna make it quick, so. Here we go, we're in the farm. Parking lots over there. Cafe, gift shop. I'm gonna take a shortcut this way. Well, actually, I'll show you some pineapples I planted about two months ago, real quick. These are Maui gold. I can send you some tops. These will probably do just fine where you're at. Put the tops in the ground. This is about, it's about a month and a half in. It's about 100 in here. So yeah, I'll have 100 pineapples all at once, but I guess I'll just plant 100 every month. Farm's looking really good. We've had some pretty consistent rain. Not a lot, but consistent. Pomegranate, pink Eureka lemon, Dishan lime, mangoes just starting to come around. I wish you could taste one of these, bro. So good. <clears throat> some new bathrooms that I'm building. Him and her sink this is a um let me clean this lens real quick <laughs> maters this is a little germination bed that i made uh there's about 200 coconuts just buried in the ground here it's hard to see because all this purslane has grown up but just growing these coconuts just to sprout them And once they sprout like that, you can eat the inside. It gets kind of spongy. It's kind of a delicacy. Uh, but we're gonna serve that in our cafe. This is um, the Lacoy vine. I use it just to shelter my, my little she shed here. Check this out. So I'm making all the starts for my um, my big garden down there, all kinds of stuff. Lots of stuff from cuttings. These are mulberries, guavas, comfrey, tree spinach, papayas, dragon fruit, uh, it's pandan, bananas, um, other stuff, more plants. Here's the garden. This is a winter garden. It's really hard to grow stuff in the summer here because it's just so hot. Um, but it looks beautiful in the winter. It's all eggplant, chilies, tomatoes, amaranth. I got onions. I put some corn in here. It never came up. Okra. That's cassava. Kale. Looks sad because it's been hot. It's just started to get hot. Uh, this is my little compost corral. And then I'll just kind of do a take a step back here this whole corner down here is the whole new like planting area that I'm doing um, it's hard to see because it's getting thick in here but it's just getting started this is moringa um, it's a super food and I mainly planted it as a chop and drop to support the other trees the other trees are kind of hidden in here there's a little jackfruit back there uh, you're gonna see a lot of sugar cane the sugar cane is just part of the succession planting just to build biomass right now and wind protection here's a koa uh got pumpkins growing here's that guava papaya more moringa there's a neem tree more papaya this is a green cardamom i got ginger coming up right here see that ginger um this is jamaican oregano or something like that if you look on the ground, I planted a lot of perennial peanut. It's a nitrogen fixing ground cover. Here's another jackfruit. This is an ulu. Another ulu back here. Lots of sugarcane, papayas. Another jackfruit. These jackfruit are seedlings, so I don't know exactly what they're going to be like, but they're pretty true to seed. 
This is called a miracle berry. Look that one up. <clears throat> Pineapples. This is pigeon pea. So the trees are the legacy plants that will grow tall and create a big canopy of shade. Um, and then I'm also planting multiple layers of uh, support plants and other food uh, or edible plants. So more pigeon pea, another ulu. This is pandan. Um, it's kind of like an Asian spice. Different gingers. This is a noni, noni tree here. Um, if you lose your bearings, just watch for the ocean, all right? That'll tell you where you're at. This is a tangelo, sweet potato. Here's a longin, more perennial peanut. Papaya, this is a mulberry. Can't wait to try one of those. This is actual peanut. So these are just peanuts you put in the ground and they do great. They uh, fix nitrogen, you can harvest them. Molly gold pineapple, so a transplanted coconut. Hopefully that one takes comfrey, red tea, ginger. I think this is like um, crimson clover, turmeric, nasturtium. This is a papaya called Hermosa, apparently like a five pound papaya. Um, this side, more papaya, ulu, papaya, it's kukui knot. There's a um, sugarloaf pineapple. <clears throat> this is called katuk. You can look that one up. This is uh, Okinawan spinach, ground cover, edible leaves like spinach. Uh, dwarf apple banana you can see all sugar cane there's a lychee back there um nice papayas back here check these out papaya ulu this is a rainbow eucalyptus so not edible but i just had to have one <clears throat> here's another banana i'm not sure what variety this is but it's kind of tall and black this is called chaya. It's a tree spinach. This is a Sri Kambangan star fruit. This is called world's best mulberry. Uh, this is halikoa. So halikoa is everywhere around here. And it's a legume. It fixes nitrogen. I took most of it out in this area, but I did leave some here and there uh, to support the young trees that I'm planting here. This is a longan. Another type of ulu back there. This is a uh, cara cara orange. This is a Alfonso mango, an Indian mango. This is called Chandler pomelo. We got a um, prickly pear back there, spineless prickly pear. This is a little cutting of Mexican sunflower. It's called Tithonia, very beneficial to plant. Um, high in nitrogen. This is called a white piri. This is a Hawaiian selection of mango. That's what the pigeon pea looks like. More turmeric, more spinach. That's a calamansi lime. I'll go down this way and then, this is called black turmeric. It's actually blue, but they call it black turmeric. Lemongrass, here's an avo, wild tomatoes. That's uh, the halikoa. This is a this is a um, teddy bear palm that I transplanted from a different part of the property. And as soon as I transplanted it, we had 80 mile an hour winds snap the top right off of it. So it's just standing dead. But what I've done is planted ja uh, dragon fruit all around it. Uh, and I'll use it as a trellis for the dragon fruit. All right, this is a sweet tart mango. It's a Florida variety. This, these bananas are called Dwarf Namwa. Uh, I haven't tried it, but short tree, giant stalk of bananas, more pigeon pea. I've got a Rolinia that's gonna go right here. This is a cassava cutting. So once they grow, you just cut the stalks into as many pieces as you want and stick them in the ground and you got a whole new plant. Uh, pretty sure this is like a plantain, more chaya. This is a Hawaiian avocado called Kahalu'u. It's uh, the best avo we got in Hawaii. 
This is a Cuban red banana, more cassava, more katuk, more comfrey. They're on this side, tithonia. I got a mango seed I'm gonna try right here. So a nice protected area for the mango seed. This is a banana from, um, pretty sure this is from like, um, uh, what's that place called? Raja Ampat or something? It's called Kokopo. It's, it's a bright orange flesh banana. Under this little shade, I got a mame. Um, I've got a couple mames, and I'm excited about those. It's a brown turkey fig. This is called abiu, tropical fruit. Under here is a loquat. Uh, we got summer coming, so I gotta protect some of these until they get established. This is a white sapote. I'm really excited about this one too. All right, so I've got uh, a couple more trees I still got to plant in this area. And then if you look down here, this is, these are the trees I planted last year. And these are actually in the farm and they're on the grid. So we removed these two rows of trees here of coconuts. And I put all these fruit trees in. Um, these are all avos and mangoes and some ulus, but mostly ma mangoes and avos. And um, every one is a different variety. So I'm really excited about trying some of these new ones. Um, maybe the next video I'll go through and talk about these varieties. But that's just kind of a quick snippet. We got coconuts, man. Check it out. Coconuts. 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 just getting beautiful all right bro i'm gonna sign out um we'll chat soon later